introducing to you. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks and weighing it at nine stone and six pounds, he's taking part in his fourth professional contest. He's from Cardiff. Please welcome Jason White. And of course, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the blue trunks, weighed in at nine stone and six pounds, and comes to the ring undefeated in six contests. Five wins, three inside the scheduled distance, and one draw. He's from Sawford. Please welcome Lee Miga. <laughs> Time for the battle is uh, Roger Bowden, and our referee in charge of the action is Ruddy Evans. And this is four three minute rounds. Prospect from the Mick Hennessy stable. Dave Walker and Leo O'Reilly have had more attention than this man in the blue trunks, Lee Meager, in his seventh outing. Up against Cardiff's Jason White, who always gives good value for money. It's a decent little test this for Meager, Glenn. Yes, it is. All about four rounds. This should be pretty competitive. <laughs> Hooks there from Miga, who has been transformed, he says, from a scrapper into a boxer. Trainer Robert McCracken. And Jason White is getting him involved straight away. Well, his quickly shots well. Miga, nice hooks to the body and then a good uppercut. Nice hook to the body, but White is. Durable, although he just slips there. Reddened around the face already. Only in his fourth outing. Jason White, a young at 22. But he's been thrown in pretty deep so far. And that's hard for a youngster. Yes, it is. He's trying to that's rush me. Megan picking his punch as well. Give me some. Nice shot around the side and then sharp ones through the middle. Edge in power and skill with the man from Salford. A bit open white. South Borazi bravely tries to stand toe to toe and trade with the favourite here. Well, he's strong and he's rugged white, but he's been caught with some decent shots. From Miga. Get the jab working as well, Miga. The volume may be from White, but the quality from Miga. Miga just keeping his cool, just waiting for White to build up these attacks and then tighten the better shots through the middle. Plenty of leather throws in this opener. Encouragement from his corner to come forward. Very, very game. Well, White hoping his strength will have an effect, but as yet, Miga Corbin with it all. That was a good shot from White. It's an uppercut to match the earlier one that Miga landed. Very entertaining first round. Dropping his hands right there at the end. And they've only done three minutes. But they look like they've been in there for far longer. There is Robert McCracken, who announced his retirement after his defeat in ten rounds to Howard Eastman. There's Lee Meager, Dave Walker, Leo O'Reilly and Andrew Wallace. Waiting to make his professional day. Cleaner, classier shots from Mega. Nice left hook to the body and just a, a little chipping right uppercut. And he was just the cooler of the two, picking the shots better. Well, White was making it competitive, trying to rush forward. 
But it was always the, the nicer work from Miga. Excellent success rate for Miga. Look how many punches thrown there. 170 in just the first. Second of four in the nine stone or super featherweight division. Immediately, Miga catches White. And they carry on where they left off. Stand off and look for his punches, White. Is that advisable? Well, it's going to be difficult either way because the better boxing is from Miga. And I think Miga will like a bit of space as well and get his shots off equally as good. It's a good strip of right hand from Miga, who represented Jersey in the 98 Commonwealth Games, but lasted just seven or eight seconds. He was fell by a punch from Belfast prospect David Lowry. Hopes to have more success in the professional ring. From Mega, classy shots, mixing it up head and body, and there's a little chopping right hand, did a bit of damage there, and then just kept the pressure on. And White did well to get through that. Let's be pleased to try and get the stoppage here, Lee Mega. That's good variety from Mega, just stepping about, giving some angles. Nice sharp, choppy little punches. But White survives and makes it through six minutes. It's a third round, Salford's Lee Mega. He spent much of his life in Jersey as a scaffolder. Our boxer, 23 year old. He's won five of his six. One draw. The Wolverhampton lightweight Carl Allen. He's very much on top here against Cardiff's brave, but a little limited Jason White. White for his only victory by appointing the Nottingham veteran Nigel Senior. Over eight rounds in Stoke in March. Two defeats before that. Good right hand from Mega. And it's 
snap back there of White. Yes, that's a good long way to have. You'll want to get that to stop it if you can, Miga. But he's tough, White. Well, he can steady him up with the, the double jab and then pick his shots well. Just sometimes, you know, a little bit head down, getting involved with White when he doesn't really need to. That was a, a good long right hand. You see that the total punches landed over double for Miga. A fair few though. Round four. Texas, Texas. Fourth and final round. This entertaining undercard fight, Lee Mega. The Salford prospect. Making ground in the super featherweight division. Domestically ruled by Michael Gomez, who's got his rematch against Laszlo Bogner coming up in July. And he's won every round here against Jason White. Whiter has not made things easy. He's good at his team. 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 He's good Stand up, Blake, come on! 
sort of pierce why he really did set a, a good pierce wanted the win but the better boxing from mega saw him probably a, a clear winner well, there's the total punches as i thought white <coughs> threw more but look at the success rate how many mega landed the better quality and the right man won no doubt but he knew he's in a fight 